All right, problem one. Rot with a cross-section area of A and load it in tension with an axial force of P equals to 2,000 pound, uh, pound force undergoes the stress of sigma P over A. Using a material strength of 24 kilo KSI and a design factor of 3, determine the minimum diameter of a solid circular rod. So let's do that first. If available rods come in multiples of 1 eighth, choose 1, then uh, calculate the factor of safety. Okay, <clears throat> so I know that my design factor is S, the strength over the stress. The stress is just a compression, a uh, tension one, so P over A, meaning S times A over P, and the area of a, um, a rod would be the the area of a circle so pi d squared over four so from this i have everything i have the strength 24 i have the the design factor and i have the load so i can solve for d which would be 4 p n over s pi and square root of that and now i can solve for d uh, by substituting the value. So 4 times the load, 2,000 pounds times the design factor over 24,000 PSI, which is pounds over inch squared times pi to the 1 half. And so pounds go away and the denominator of the denominator squared and square root of that would just be inches, which makes sense. I need inches. And then zero, 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 four times two, eight times three, 24. This would be one over pi inches. So one over pi and square root of that is 0 0.564 five, six. would be here my my answer um, and now if the available rods come in multiples of one eighth of an inch so this would be closer to four eighths one one half but that would not be enough so I go to five eighths so my diameter is five eighths of an inch which is 0 0.625 inches. And then I do the same thing just for the, for the factor of safety. So if my factor of safety n is equal to s pi d squared over 4p, um, this is equal to 24,000 pounds per square inch times pi times my new d squared over 4 times the load. S inches squared over inches squared go away and we have uh, pounds here in the numerator and pounds in the denominator that go away and then my factor of safety is unit uh, dimensionless which is what I want. So 0 0 0 0 0 0 uh, 24 over 4 is 6 and I do 6 pi times 0 0.625 squared, and that would be my answer. So 6 times pi times 0 0.65 times 0 0.625. And then this would be 3.68 uh, divided by 2. This 2 was still here. Uh, 3.68 alright problem 2 uh, the normal stresses on the outer surface of a spherical pressure vessel is determined by uh, this equation where P is the internal gauge pressure R is the radius of the vessel and T is the wall thickness if the pressure is known with an uncertainty of so I'm going to write those down because I'm going to need them if the pressure is known with an uncertainty, so my nominal value, so 
plus or minus 8% if my radius is known nominal value and plus or minus 5% and the wall thickness T1 nominal value T1 you can name these however you want plus or minus 10% and the strength the stress causes failure the strength is known uh, within a 10% determine the minimum design factor that will guarantee that the vessel will not fail so I know that when that the, the, the vessel will not will not fail when the minimum strength is at least my maximum stress so the maximum stress with all not taking into account all the uncertainties cannot be higher than the strength because it would fail so this the limit would be when those two are equal so I know that this is going to be in terms of my nominal s and my nominal sigma so let's work on that my nominal sigma is given by the equation p1 r1 over t2 t1 so I'm just using the nominal values but the maximum would be when 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 all of those make this expression the highest so p1 can be 8% more than p1 or p can be 8% more than p1 so 1.08 p1 r can be 5% more than r1 so 1.05 r1 the two stays the same and the thickness can be 10% lower than uh, T1 so 0 0.9 T1 right if I organize those 1.08 times 1.05 over 0 0.9 times P1 R1 over 2 T1 I notice that this is my sigma nominal so this just means that the sigma max is 0 1.08 times 1.05 times 0 0.9 times my sigma nominal right so I can write this right side of this equation as 1.08 times 1.05 over 0 0.9 sigma nominal and the left side of the equation I know that my s min the minimum um, strength could be 90% of the nominal strength 0 0.9 s1 or nominal you can call it nominal one whatever you want and then here I would have 0 0.9 s nominal now by definition s nominal over sigma nominal is my design factor and so if I divide by sigma and divide by 0 0.9 s over sigma nominal is 1.08 times 1.05 over 0 0.9 from here and then this one times 0 0.9 okay. and if I do that in the calculator I get exactly 1.4 and that's the end